This is my favorite lens to do all of my blog photography with. It's a 50 millimeter 1.4. It's a Sony Zeiss. Man, I love this lens. Oh, yeah. Now, this will be a two-part series because there's a lot to cover, but I think I wanna start at the most asked question that I get, and that is, how do you photograph yourself? So you guys ever see all of those, you know, influencers and bloggers on Instagram, and they're just taking amazing pictures, and you're just asking, like, do these people have photographers, like, following them around? How are they getting all of this amazing content all the time? I try to take a freaking picture of myself, and I can't do it, and I feel awkward because I can't get the right angle, and I feel judged by all these people walking past me. What the heck are these people doing? So there's four ways you can do this, and really only one of them is the most optimal, but the number one way that I'll share at the end is the best way to do this. So we're gonna go from suboptimal to optimal. Way number one, the Instagram husband. You know, it's basically where you have your partner shoot all of your blog content. And if you go look up Instagram husband on YouTube, you'll see a bunch of husbands basically walking around, following their partners, taking pictures for their blog. And they would look and say, you know, this is my life now. This is my life now. <laughs> so it's kind of funny because it's true. And a lot of these bloggers get their content because they have partners who take their pictures. And in my opinion, it's one way to go, but it should be a last resort. Unless that is your partner as a photographer, awesome. If they want to, they love doing it, perfect. So that's method number one. Not the most optimal, but you can use it in a pinch. Method number two is just to actually use a tripod and shoot yourself. And the problem with this is it's hard to do if you're going for like lifestyle shots outside of you in motion. It can be difficult to find the perfect spot in the street with a lot of cars driving by, people walking past you. Set this up, have a remote timer, either from a remote or from your phone. Feeling awkward, you're feeling that people are judging you as they're walking by. Your authentic self, it's hard to get that across. And you're only really getting one composed angle. You don't have a photographer who's this angle, this angle, this angle, this angle, and then you go back and look and you find the best one. I like using a tripod if it's indoors in a controlled setting. There's not a whole lot of people around getting in the way. If you have the time and the patience to do that, definitely use a tripod. You can do that for a lot of your indoor shots. The third way is to actually hire professionals. When I first started, my really good friend Brett was a photographer. He still is a photographer and he's still my friend. He's a great photographer. And he wanted practice, you know? So he was just starting out. I was just starting a blog. I was like, hey, why don't we help each other out? This is called a time for print. And this is a great solution if you're just starting out. The problem with this solution is that Brett started getting really, really good. And people started hiring him. His time was no longer as free as it used to be. I felt like he deserved to be paid. And I need pictures every week. I need pictures every day. And so I'm having to do a photo shoot a week to get content to post for my blog. 300, 400 bucks a week, 1600 bucks a month. Like that's my rent right there. I gotta figure something out here. You know, so when he went from amateur to pro, our TFP time for print relationship sort of ended and I had to find other solutions. So the next solution that I tried was reaching out to new photographers and just asking for TFPs. And as my page grew, I would say, hey, you know what? I'll help give you exposure by tagging you. The problem with this way is that as, the, as a creator, you have a vision for how you want your page to look, the aesthetic. And when you're jumping from photographer to photographer to photographer to photographer, you're getting back all these different edits. And it is a huge insult to a photographer when, when you edit over their edit to try to make it match your feed. Nothing upsets a photographer who puts a lot of time and energy into their edits when you just go and throw a visco filter over it. There's also a couple other problems that could arise. One of them is you have a creative clash and the photographer wants one thing, you, you as a blogger want something specific for your page. If you're paying a photographer, you wanna get those edits back as you like them. So I started thinking, there's got to be a way for me to get content fast for free where I had 100% creative control and I could do that over the long term. So I started brainstorming. I was like, what could I do? There's gotta be a solution. And I started thinking, what makes a good collaboration? The answer is the unlimited content method. Every single person in that party's goals are aligned. 
that makes a good collaboration. When it's mutually beneficial for everybody and everybody wins. That's why the TFP worked temporarily with Brett, my photographer from the beginning, but eventually our goals were not aligned anymore. I did some brainstorming. Who can I shoot with whose goals are aligned with mine and they're aligned with mine over the long term and we can constantly help each other. And then I was like, duh, somebody in the exact same position as me. I searched on Instagram for all of the other bloggers in my area. Somebody who is also the face of their personal brand and they needed content just as much as I needed content. This was the magic formula. When you go and you ask other influencers, aspiring influencers, bloggers, to collaborate with you, then you guys just shoot each other. They can shoot how you want it done. You can shoot how they want it done. Let's do this. Here's the thing, invest in a budget camera. And when you invest in a camera one time, it's so much cheaper than paying every single week for professionals to take your photos, waiting to get the edits back. You may or may not like the edits. You might have a creative clash with that person. When you have the, all the gear you need, you own everything, you take everything into your own hands, then you can create the content that you need. You're also building a community of like-minded people. This is the magic formula, the number one way to collaborate with people in the exact same position as you. Thank you.